What's going on everybody, Grimms here. Welcome to the Foam News Collective recap of 3D Printed Blaster releases in 2023. Segments in this video feature the release of a 3D Printed Blaster designed by any maker, whether released as files or completed builds, for free or commercially. This is not by any means a definitive list of all 3D Printed Blaster releases of this year, but we would say it does offer a fair picture of the market. With all that out of the way, enjoy our recap of 2023's 3D Printed Blaster releases. The TCS2 is a new blaster that is 3D printed, licensed by Captain Slug, and produced by Eric Kraft. It features a pump action and an additional side prime. It has smooth prime and an adjustable stock and can be ch um, changed from 180 to 240 feet per second with a simple spring swap. As of current, there is no release on pricing, but there is a video if you guys are interested to see more on this blaster that will be linked down below. And in community news, a new 3D printable blaster has entered the ring over on Thingiverse, with the files dropping for the Apex Crabber, a bolt-action shell-ejecting sniper rifle behemoth. Some notes from the designer, this blaster will come in at about 160 centimeters in length and can weigh in at almost a whopping 8 kilograms if the prints are fully filled. The cylinder volume is also a massive 200 cubic centimeters and is noted to be very accurate and powerful per the designer's write-up. Luckily, it does include assembly guide PowerPoint in both English and Chinese, as well as a hardware list that's only in Chinese at this time. Another new community blaster called Mjolnir is now open for beta over on Reddit. The designer B Sanford 0916 says it was heavily inspired by the Pew Pew. Mjolnir looks like a pretty intensive build, but if you'd like to get in on the beta, head on over to their Discord for more information. Links will be down below in the description. The wait is finally over. Caramel Designs has released the Red Herring. The Red Herring is a compact but powerful half dart springer that primes, much like Captain Slug's Piranha, via the sling, making it effectively one-hand operable. The CAD files and STLs have been released on GitHub, with hardware kits and full blaster kits soon to be available on Silver Fox Industries. Here's a playful new community release. On Reddit, Bruce Lee 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 announced the Nail Clipper, a 3D printable bullpup revolver stringer, sporting replaceable cylinders, Picatinny rail, and a printable holder for two additional cylinders. The Nail Clipper requires no hardware to build, and reviews are already indicating it's a great beginner project. Bruce suggests that the blaster can achieve 80 to 90 feet per second, but stringers can vary widely in strength based on the cord and the setup, so your mileage may vary. Personally, I love the form factor of this. I love stringers and I really want one of these, but unfortunately, my Prusa Mini can't manage the 195 millimeter print height required for the main body. Hopefully I can get someone to print one for me because this just looks super fun to play with. STL files are available for $10 from the Lidl Dynamics Etsy page, link in the description. And to tack onto the 3D printed blaster community releases, the newest revision to the low hardware talon claw you but longer tranche 2 has dropped over on Thingiverse. A few noteworthy additions from the tranche. One, it now has a fully enclosed front end, three new stock options, and a new plunger design that incorporates a speed seal and spring guide rod. The creator Ian With? Question mark? Has also given some different spring barrel combos and their performance ranges, starting from an HVZ friendly 130 FPS combo all the way up to a 290 FPS combo. Links to the files should be down in the description. We now have another addition to the Flycore ecosystem with the release of the FLP-03 from creator Shoeless Historian, a Flycore straight talon-fed bullpup running hurricane wheels and possibly flywheel the world wheels, but Shoeless said they haven't tested that yet. It looks to be a small CQB-style blaster, judging by its styling and flywheel options. This is definitely an intermediate build, since it requires M3 heat inserts and some fancy wiring to get everything to fit. Along with these files, you'll also be required to have the Flycore STLs, which luckily the creator has a link to in their description directly to them. But if you want to take a look at the files for this blaster, then check the links in our description. A while back, Nerf made a blaster called the Pocket Strike. It was basically a jolt, but flat. Unfortunately, these days, it's very difficult to get your hands on. What you can get, however, is the Leaf by Shanye from Silver Fox Industries. 
The Leaf is basically a 3D printed version of the Pocket Strike. It gets 50 to 65 FPS with both full and half length darts. Silver Fox Industries will be selling it in both build it yourself and pre built form. Mega XL fans rejoice! Domachevsky has released the Hamavald, a 3D printed clip fed shell ejecting Mega XL flywheeler. Although this release is technically a beta to give Domachevsky an opportunity to make tweaks for a future final version, it is fully functional, huge, and powerful, firing Mega XL darts up to 75 feet in his own tests. Additionally, he has made shotgun shells that fire four elite darts at a time. The clips hold six shells at a time, the blaster runs on a 3S LiPo, and the whole mess just looks super fun to use. The Hamavald has a fictional backstory that's worth checking out as well, building on the plot behind Domachevsky's previous designs. The Hamavald is currently available as an $11 USD 3D printable file set, or as a $442 USD complete blaster over on the Genco Megaworks Etsy page, and Domachevsky says that hardware kits will be available soon. Find that link down in the description. And with more releases over on printables, Mein Gonk has released the GNK 200 or Gonk 200, a dual stage brushless motor solenoid blaster, or as Mein Gonk put it, a slim low hardware nerf brushless flywheeler designed for fast play styles in a small package with gonks. This is a very sleek blaster that runs on 3S LiPo that comes complete with its own folding stock, which looks pretty sturdy from the images. Gaunt put a lot of detail into the build description, complete with FPS ranges, configurations, Arduino pinouts, firmware, even the step files to build off the design. Of course, with Creative Commons license, there's no selling of the files or parts without talking with Gaunt first. This will definitely be a more experienced build, but does have room for those that want to push the limits further. Links, of course, should be down in the description. Some last second news coming in 30 minutes or less before the filming deadline, Old Fusion Designs has delivered a new slice to the Flycore ecosystem, the Noid Core, which uses the Out of Darts Eli Wu High Performance Neutron Solenoid and is compatible with every half dart wheel on the market today. And yes, even the new Baby Banshee wheels we just reported on. OFD already has an Annoyed Mauser file set for purchase over on his Etsy page, which requires the Noid Core files, which have now been posted over on his GitHub and printable pages as well. Both STLs and STEP files are available for the Noid Core for anyone looking to modify them for a project, but do remember these are under Creative Commons license, so no selling of modified files or kits without discussing it with OFD first. This is definitely a great opportunity for anyone that has been looking to try out a solenoid in their builds, as a lot of the placement requirements have already been figured out for you. Perhaps we'll even get a domino effect of many more solenoid designs derived from this one. You don't want to avoid this noid. Check out the links down in the description for more info. Well, wouldn't you know it, it seems that Foam Blasted has also been collaborating with Maritime Foam on a project that should brighten the day of all the people in our comments asking about Mega XL news every episode. This one's for y'all. The Gauntlet XL is a 3D printed Mega XL flywheeler that can be mounted on a rail, attached to a pistol grip, or, as he originally conceived it, wrist mounted with a palm trigger. Maritime Foam has been publicly sharing his early concepts of this blaster since mid-2022, and Foam Blasted has been turning his concepts into properly designed files that are nearly ready for release. Based on the video we've seen so far, it appears to run on 3S LiPo and has an inline hopper system that holds two Mega XL darts. It fits on his adult arm, but kids can use it as well. While you can't get files or finished blasters yet, you can listen to tomorrow's PNNN podcast, where we'll have Maritime Foam on as a guest to tell us more about this super exciting and unique project and the collaborative process that brought it to fruition. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it and check the links to Maritime Foam's channel and Foam Blasted's Etsy shop in the description. In some silly news, Silly Butts has released the Cynthia, a 3D printed customizable bolt action primary class springer. 
Cynthia has many of the quality of life features we've now come to expect with this type of blaster, such as quick swap barrels and springs. The design is powered by Talonclaw T4 or Longshot style springs, including the wide variety of Silver Fox Industries X series springs. FPS will vary on configuration, but should be on par with similar T4 type blasters. In this release, Silly Butts has included a wide variety of extra files to customize the blaster how you see fit, including files for both right and left handed users. Variation on the cheek rest, butt plate, mag release, front shroud, and trigger, along with a thumb hole stock and varying amounts of rail for your tactical accessories. I really like this design, and I already have a few friends who want to build one. It really feels like a solid improvement on Captain Slug's original bolt action, the Indra. The STL files are freely available on Silly's GitHub. Hardware kits are currently available at Silver Fox Industries and Out of Darts with a base price point of $45. Printed parts are not yet available, but will be both at Silver Fox Industries and Out of Darts in the future. Links to the aforementioned files and hardware kits can be found in the description below. There is a super fun new community release in town, The Coat Hanger, a collaborative project between blaster concept artist Hotcoin and 3D designer and builder Tinkershot. Deriving its name from its unique wire rod loop catch, the Coat Hanger is a versatile half dart blaster that can be set up to shoot anywhere from 130 FPS all the way up to 220 FPS, depending on the spring that you use. The blaster boasts features like bearings in the priming block, fiber optic sights, multiple sling points, and a pick rail for mounting a sight. There's also a variety of separately purchasable upgrades like an end strike or buffer tube stock mount, a low power 1.5 HVZ spring, a high power 1.8 competition spring, an end strike B car shroud, and an expanded plunger tube. I think Tinkershot did an amazing job of capturing the unique curves and shapes of Hotcoin's original sketch. The coat hanger is available made to order with a variety of options ranging from a base price of $175 all the way up to $205 for the complete package with a current wait time of four to five months. Before ordering, be sure to contact Tinkershot through Etsy to discuss your color scheme or you will be sent a blaster in whatever colors he feels like making. While hardware kits for DIY builds are currently unavailable, they will be released when the build manual is complete. As always, links are in the description. Have you been wanting to build an OFD quick, but you feel your wiring and soldering skills aren't up to the challenge? Well, lucky for you, Kelly Industries is now offering a full 90% pre-soldered hardware kit over on his shop. As Adam of OFD put it in a Discord announcement, this is a great option for those that don't like to solder and want a mostly screw together assembly with the exception of motor soldering. Kelly also has an updated STL files to fit the PCBs as the original ones weren't quite roomy enough. We love to see different creators working together on builds to make the hobby more inviting for, to newer or less experienced builders, getting more awesome stuff into people's hands and onto the field. Find those links down in the description. After around half a year of development, Dr. Flux's Flux Labs has launched their very first hobby blaster. The Nova is a custom 3D printed compact talon fed flywheeler running on 3S LiPo and using strife style flywheel cage geometry. The Nova is designed to have customizable panels, allowing for a wide range of color combinations. It is currently being sold in small runs of pre-made blasters, the current run being a batch of five. The Novas currently up for sale are equipped with Valkyrie motors and worker smooth wheels, sporting blue and orange and red and orange colorways. These Novas fire from 130 to 140 FPS and retail for 250 United States dollars, not including shipping and handling. It is yet to be seen if Flux Labs will offer made to order Novas. To get your hands on one, DM flux.labs on Instagram. Link in the description. German designer Domachevsky has brought us yet another cool flywheeler design, this one called the Hollander. The blaster is full auto and feeds from a talon magazine up top with a very similar firing mechanism to the bulwark. It can take both curved and straight talons along with surprisingly angled talons. The break open loading is super cool and it even has a feature that uses LEDs to light up the talon mag. It's got end strike barrel and stop points for maximum tactics. And if you're wondering what the faux magazine in the front was for, that's where the battery goes. Domachowski will be selling both files and pre-built blasters on his Etsy store, Genco Mega Works. Link will be in the description. Captain Slug is back at it again with an interesting new design. The stapler is a remix of the Griffin platform that comes in both half dart and full length versions. The design includes an internal magazine that players can reload on the fly using a unique system that involves magazines and a keychain ring. Not only is this Slug's first design since closing his Etsy store and moving, but it also is his first design to utilize flywheels. Slug says he made this design to quote, for players that want to play with a loose stump pouch of darts and no magazines. 
I think it's awesome to see Slug continuing to make new and unique designs, and if you want to get your hands on the files for this design, the link will be in the description. JSPB's Dai Tengu is back from the grave with a new upgraded design dubbed Zombie Tengu. According to the designer Ezekiel Lin, this new version trades air capacity and volume for a new dual fluid propulsion system inspired by nitrous oxide systems in race cars. Not to get too technical, but the idea is that the water mist particles create a stronger seal between the dart foam and barrel. If that's a bit too much for your brains, um, JSPB has an illustration on their website, as well as a grouping diagram of both with and without the liquid boost system. This is definitely an interesting blaster design concept, and I'd love to really sink my teeth into one to see how it performs and if the theory holds any life. Fowler Concepts has released STL files for the Halo M6G blaster based on the angled flycore system. According to the description, every effort was made to create the most accurate functional replica of the in-game model possible, resulting in a model which is slightly larger than one-to-one -one scale. It certainly beats the Boomco version. Find the link to the Fowler Concepts Etsy page down in the description. Domolchevsky's at it again with the release of the Solectric 9, a mag and grip solenoid pusher full auto micro flywheel pistol. This is a huge sci-fi blaster that looks awesome in elite colors that Domo had on the test firing video. Something that caught my eye in the demo was the two-stage trigger built in two parts. Always fascinated to see what Domo is coming up with, and this is no exception. If you'd like to pick one up, you can head over to Domochevsky's Etsy page for a pre-assembled one for 235 euro. Or if you'd want to build it yourself, you can grab the STL files for 10 euro. Hardware kits will be available soon. And if you'd like the step files, Domo also has a Patreon page where you can support his work further or just throw money at him. Link to the release notes and assembly instructions will be down below. The time has come. After almost a year since its initial announcement, the Momentum is finally available for pre-order on the Out of Darts web store. Or rather, was, as the pre-order for the initial batch is already sold out. According to their website, they'll be ordering hardware for a larger production run when the initial run is finished production. For those unfamiliar with the product, the Momentum is a premium 3D printed two-stage brushless flywheel blaster. This blaster has lots of features packed into its small package, including an adjustable FPS up to 200, adjustable rate of fire up to 35 darts per second, customizable burst fire, and a tournament idling mode for quicker trigger response time. All of these features come at a cost, however, coming in at an eye-watering $649.99. Momentum is certainly not for everyone. If it is in your budget, however, you can find the purchase link in the description. Detroit Dartworks has come out with his first full blaster design. Based off of the OFD Flycore system, Al Mirage curiously has the mag sticking out the top, a design you rarely see. The design works with all kinds of micro wheels and can take either the normal N20 fly core or a Noid core. There's even an option for a toggle switch if you're doing a select fire build. There are a few different side panel options, including Fidlock and Picatinny Rail, but step files for the side plates are also included so that you can make your own design for your side plates. If you're interested, we'll have a link to Detroit Dartworks' Etsy where you can purchase the files in the description below. Automatic electric blasters, or AEBs, have been a hot topic in the hobby lately, and venerable designer Silly Butts has put his hat in the ring, sort of. The Battle Mage is his attempt at an AEB platform, but one which has caused plenty of consternation since he started the design in October of 2022. He has decided to release it in its current alpha state to let brave builders take a stab at getting it working. The Battle Mage is a talon-fed slider crank turnaround based AEB that uses a 550 size motor. Among the copious notes on the product's GitHub page, he explains that he has intentionally only provided F3D and STEP files, both to allow for editing of the files for troubleshooters, as well as to create a barrier to entry for those who might wade too deep into a project they're not ready for. If you think you're ready, or you just want to take a peek, find the GitHub link down in the description. Bruce Leedle 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 Lee has dropped the files for Corsair, a break action elastic cord powered pistol firing half links, full links, as well as mega darts. This is a fun design that uses the break action to prime the cord and load the next round in one motion. 
perfect for scavenging games since it uses many common ammo types. Bruce also included add-ons for an extended barrel, as well as a stock to make it into a rifle. If you're interested in a double barrel version, Meeker helped with creating that concoction, but you'll have to reach out to Bruce directly for those files since he can't upload them to Etsy due to their size. Does everybody know what time it is? Tool time! Hobbyist and 3D designer No Reason has released a rather unique flycore derived blaster, affectionately titled the Double Impact. Double Impact is a full-auto flywheeler blaster utilizing dual Talon magazines and stores the battery in a modular battery tray with an optional safety switch. The blaster runs on Hurricane flywheels in a 33.5, 33, and 32.5 mm cage spacings for 110 through 120 feet per second velocities. A link to the file and hardware list will be in the description below. Server Fox Industries has announced a new blaster designed by Adrian hitting their shop, the Mayday MK2. This 3D printed single shot pistol is designed to be loaded like a flare gun and takes 40 max canisters, allowing the Mayday MK2 to fire all sorts of ammo thanks to the array of different printed shells available. SFI is offering these as printed parts, complete kits, or fully assembled blasters. Hardware kits are available as well, and the files to print your own are over on Adrian's Etsy. If you'd like to build a full loadout, SFI will be offering a discount on the 40 max canisters if you buy three or more. Links below. At this point, I'm sure most of you have seen the Mother of All Blasters by Gatling Tommy. It's a belt-fed, multi-firing mode, super high-rate, full-auto minigun with an ammo counter and a backpack to carry 500 darts in a self-dismantling belt. It's an impressive engineering feat that made a big splash in social media. Now, Gatling Tommy is offering the Moab for sale over on his website. According to the listing, he has so far already sold most of the initial batch of 100 units at an astonishing price of $5,227. While it's one of the most expensive blasters ever offered for sale, it's also complex and feature-rich, fully handmade machine. Tommy is promising to deliver all ordered units before Christmas of 2023. If you want to get in on the first batch, then you better hurry. According to the website, there are only two left at the time of recording. And now to shine a light on something that the bright-eyed many have spotted at Ragnar Oktoberfest 2023. Dan of Orion Blaster showed off what may become the next member of their bullpup blaster lineup. This absolute unit of a blaster, according to Dan, fires mega darts at 100 FPS downrange on a 788 spring with a scar. This prototype unit, like any traditional HVZ primary, was finished just the day before RAG, so the design still needs some time before it's ready to come to market. Eventually though, this has the potential to be a fun and unique primary for those of us who love Mega Ammo. Now if only we had a high capacity Mega Magazine. The equivalent exchange has been paid and Silly Butts has officially released The Alchemist. The Alchemist is Silly's attempt at making the best 3D printable pump action springer on the market with features like toolless barrel swapping, aluminum bar construction, flared magwell, ball bearings in the priming grip, and more. Silly has made the files available for free on his GitHub, but is still in the process of making write-ups and an assembly video. Both Out of Darts and Silver Fox Industries are planning to offer fully printed kits in the near future, but they both already have hardware kits available for purchase. Find those as well as Silly's firing demonstration and overview video linked below. Shells, always a fun gimmick, and for those of you looking for a new shell ejecting blaster, you are in luck. Shellington Labs has launched their Mark II variant of their well-received Renfield 3D printed bolt action blaster. Coming in at the same retail price of 200 United States dollars, Featuring double stacked magazines and stripper clips for fast mag loading, the Renfield Mark II is a compelling option for shell blaster enthusiasts. The Renfield Mark II is available for purchase right now on the Shellington Labs web store. If you're interested in printing one for yourself, hardware kits are available for $100, link down below. In a cyber future where German trains must run on time no matter what, the small, low-tech, and reliable conductor's revolver has been the preferred sidearm of head conductors since the year 2395. Wild West sci-fi creator Domochevsky has released a wild new blaster that uses seven separate plunger systems. You heard that right. All the plungers are harvested from seven X-Shot Micros, since they're surprisingly powerful for their size. 
The revolver also includes onboard dart storage as well as an in-strike stock attachment to help you balance this front-heavy beast. More in-depth lore, a firing demo, as well as links to his Etsy store can be found on Domo's website, link below. A new designer, Sandshark Labs, has run the gauntlet of public release to bring us a new arm-mounted full-auto rival blaster, the Foam Arm Fryer. Released about a month ago and demoed by Maritime Foam, the Foam Arm Fryer is a 3D printed arm mounted blaster that takes standard rival magazines and dumps their contents rapidly upon the pull of a string, which both activates the flywheels and releases the ammo. The fryer uses Out of Darts Kraken motors on a 3S LiPo and the design includes an automotive fuse to avoid burning anything out if operated out of sequence. The designer even included four Picatinny rails crammed onto every available surface for maximum tactics. The foam arm fryer is entirely a DIY, available only as STL files for $10 on Sandshark Labs Etsy page, link in the description. Not enough nerf and Paper Skeletons 3D are daily get down with the release of the Nailer. After releasing their collaborative remix of Captain Slug's internal magazine stapler flywheeler, they decided to make a mag fed variation. The Nailer retains the aesthetics of the stapler, but converts it to straight Talon magazines. They run on Worker 130 basic motors on 2S or 3S with custom Hurricane flywheels, hitting anywhere from 120 to 150 FPS. As of right now, the only way to get one is directly from Not Nuff's Etsy as a fully built blaster. Check it out at the link in the description. Have something you need help finishing? Check out the finalizer from Foam Blasted. Originally designed to fire ultra darts, the finalizer is a print in place single shot stringer, similar to Meeker's old stringer designs, but with a movable catch piece. For the same low price, his Etsy download listing also now includes files for versions that shoot elites, short darts, mega, and even cut down short mega. If you're looking for an easy and fun blaster to print, check the link to his Etsy page down in the description. JSPB is back with three tiny new air-powered blasters that are heavily inspired by the nerf Secret Strike. The T-Series Master Key blasters were designed to be attached to any primary and come in three four factors. The Single Shot T1, the Double Full Length or Four Half Length Shotgun T4 model, and the Mega Launching T8 variant. The designs are mostly 3D printed, but also include a recycled bottle cap a nod to the designer's Air Blaster modding roots. All three models are currently available for pre-order, and if you're interested in the whole collection, you can pre-order them at a discounted price. Links down below. Again and again, we've seen the same comment on our videos. Will there be any new Mega XL Blasters? Any news on the Mega XL Ranger? No. Just kidding. Coming in at a base price of $365, the new Ranger Extra Heavy Sniper is here and ready. 3D printed by Tinkershot at Spitfire Productions, the Ranger Heavy Sniper is a breech loader that fires Mega XL darts at 75 FPS on a K17 and up to 100 FPS on K25 with a relatively light prime. Check the link in the description for the Spitfire Productions Etsy page where you can order one of your own. Last episode, we covered Domochevsky's Conductor Revolver that uses seven X-Shot micros. But if that's too many micros for you, Domochevsky has released his new X-Shot Micro Reshell number one. All of the hardware for this reshell is already provided by the Micro Blaster itself, meaning you only need to decide on print colors. This is the first entry in a new line of reshells that Domochevsky will periodically release, all based on the Micro Plunger system. We'll be keeping an eye out for new reshells in the future, but for now, links to purchase the files are down in the description. The game is ultimately all about momentum, or is it? Gavin Fuzzy might like to offer a differing opinion. After an extensive development period starting in 2021, the long-awaited SPF, or Spamp Butt Flywheel, is now ready for release. The Super Best Friend is a premium 3D printed brushless flywheeler with pre-soldered plug-and-play electronics. Similar to the FDL or the Momentum, the Strife But Fancy has a plethora of fancy flywheel features packed inside, including a built-in B-car, CNC aluminum cage, built-in tracer unit, UV LEDs to charge glow darts, adjustable FPS, 3-mode select fire, and an OLED screen for tweaking settings on the go. Although it currently isn't listed for sale anywhere, the Sparkly Big Flashlight pre-orders are currently open via private message to Gavin's Etsy page. If you're stateside and want to avoid international shipping, Silver Fox Industries will be offering a build-it-yourself kit and fully assembled units in batches of 10 pre-orders per wave. 
Keep an eye on their socials for updating pricing and availability. Via videographer Al Shoot Stuff, Gavin has also teased the SBFBP, an upcoming bullpup version of the blaster, although no details or release date are currently available. Links to everything down in the description. Gavin isn't the only one going bullpup, introducing Magnesium, a bullpup remix of the Zinc by 3D designer Difficult Total. This trusty sidearm based off a 118 design Zinc platform takes Talon Mags fed via a magwell near the rear of the blaster. This new design only requires a few brass inserts and screws on top of the typical Zinc hardware kit. The Magnesium reliably caps out at a strong 160 to 170 FPS, and there are plans to make a version that can hit 200 using Zinc hardware kits. If you'd like to build one for yourself, files are available on Thingiverse. Link in the description. Following up on the Conductor's Revolver and his first X-Shot Micro reshell, Domachevsky continues to innovate with the Micro's tiny power system. His second reshell is a flintlock-inspired single-shot design, and his third is... this. The same flintlock design, but with not one, but two Micros for double the fun. All of these reshells can be constructed with just the recycled hardware from the Micro and the 3D printed parts, making them fun, easy, and inexpensive to build. STL files to print your own are available for a reasonable price on Domachevsky's Etsy, and Maritime Foam offers complete printed kits with or without included X-Shot Micros. Check out all your options at the links down below. The big brands haven't given Rival a lot of love lately, but Out of Darts is stepping in with an update to a classic, introducing Juno, the next generation of Jupiter. More than just a facelift, the Juno has had an increase in performance and features. This new blaster now uses its own custom Photon Rival flywheels, controlled by a dual-stage trigger. While the site doesn't list any performance metrics, it does allude to an additional product, Juno's Fury. According to Tarek, the designer, Juno's Fury is a blower plus tubing system that acts as a mini proton pack. The tubing size is still to be decided, but will hold anywhere from around 40 to 60 rival HIR rounds. Tarek notes that print quality and other factors will determine max capacity, as the blower is powered by a standard hobby motor. In a new and surprising move for Out of Darts, the files to print your own Juno will be made available for free in their web store. Hardware kits are 70 United States dollars or 85 for a hardware kit with holster inserts and a proton pack adapter are 10 United States dollars respectively. If you'd like to get your hands on one, a link to the web store will be in the description. Continuing on the recent theme of brushless DIY blaster releases, Mind Gonk is added again with the GNK90. This new design is a select fire brushless flywheeler with a unique fun aesthetic and a loading mechanism akin to a P90. The GNK90 features a unique loading mech, select fire, adjustable FPS, a solenoid pusher, and boasts performance in the realm of 190 FPS. For those looking for a fun and different brushless blaster, this project might be for you. Find the links to the STL files and documentation down below. And there you have it! Every 2023 3D printed blaster release covered by the Foam News Collective covered. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe, check out our Discord, Merch, and Ko-Fi. We hope you enjoyed this presentation, and we'll see you in the next one.